The first day of school for many Michigan students is not that far away, and there are still dozens of questions from teachers, parents, and students about returning to classes. The vice president of the State Board of Education is calling on state leaders to ensure COVID-19 exposure risks are addressed before schools reopen. 13 on your side's Elena Holland has more from their virtual news conference. Pamela Pugh, she's the state's VP of the Board of Education, wants state leaders to be more tough on school regulations. She wants things like ventilation, cleaning, and monitoring to be addressed before any kid heads back to class. Again, I can't stand by idly and watch our children be the subjects of another failed experiment. Pugh is talking about many school districts having poor ventilation and are in need of infrastructure updates. She says this is a major concern highlighted by those districts preparing to welcome back students amid the COVID-19 pandemic. We have hollered, we have screamed, there have been uh, class action lawsuits that there has not been attention given to the care and maintenance of these buildings. Pew and other education partners have called for Michigan to join the National School Infection Prevention and Control Plan. That plan would strengthen Governor Whitmer's and the AFT's plans by diving deeper into many of these infrastructure challenges. I want to be really clear. We want to go back to school, but we want to do so um, without the risk of contracting COVID. So we want what's best for us all, but we want to work. We don't want to die. Letitia Walker is a teacher in a Detroit area district. She and a group of educators are calling for 14 consecutive days of no new COVID cases before meeting face to face for teaching. Also, among other things, temperature checks, PPE for staff and students for the entire year, an independent agency to determine building readiness, and for teachers sick time to not be affected by a quarantine. We also would like to have a mandated statewide um, hotline to report any discrepancies. Pew also calls for racial health disparities to not be deepened in black and brown communities by addressing issues with school buildings before allowing kids back in class. Most of our schools that are in uh, the area's hardest hit are those who have are the where the buildings and the infrastructure have received uh, the least amount of attention. Elena Holland, 13 on your side. Many 